And then the fact that I couldn't extend the, like, I think that's a really big thing for, like, Crimson Blaze even being remotely relevant, uh, is just extending the reach of it, because otherwise I think it's just not good enough. Uh, this is okay. I just take another. Please, sir, can I have another? Gate. I think I lose this matchup pretty easily. Like, without a question, I think I just lose this matchup. So, I'm just going to have to do this. Um, with 3k or less. So, just did you evolve into you? Set up Takato. Grab Gallant. Swing. Draw a card. I'll take that. Delete his Digimon. Yep. And I knew I was just going to get deleted almost no matter what. So now I just set up Memsetter. Because at least, like, this Gilbon is, like, a saving grace. But I need normal Gallant Mons. So he has another one. Rarimon. Yeah, so I don't think I could delete both Digimon. This card's basically useless. Alright. So if that card's useless, let's just do a training. Oh, never mind. I could kill both Digimon. And then Crimson Blaze. Cool. I'm just making sure that uh, his gates are as bad as possible. Like, he's moving very slow right now because nothing of his Digimon were deleted. So, two cost, he mills four. Lusamon. Adding a Lusamon, trashing the other two. Oh, that allowed him to recover. And did you evolve into. Uh, no. Oh, um, no, I'll hold on the raising. So I hard play this, attempt to delay his Digimon, and then what? I know he has a Lucimon in his inheritables. So he could use that. So maybe this was a mistake and I should have just let it die on its own accord. Yeah, because now he just deletes this and he gains the memory. So, I, I effectively did nothing with my turn because of that. So, maybe that was a mistake. So, 
So maybe I should have just built like back row instead. Because now I need to find another Gallantmon. That's the big problem. Yeah, because now he's just going to try to force me to lose my tamer or recover. Um, I don't have the ability to go up unless I get really lucky. Oh, that's huge. Uh, what does this card even do? Okay, so I think I could just get rid of that. So, I could easily take the Gallantmon, but I think I just want to build up a stack. Well, it's just going to die anyway, right? Like, if my stack's going to die anyway, then just play Gallantmon. So, swing, get the security check. Fighting crush, that's pretty bad. That's, like, actually borderline awful. And then I just set up a Takato. <sighs> Which Takato do I set up? I think I have to set up Blitzer. Because I could Evo here, get the extra card draw. Maybe I do that. Because... Just start trashing cards out of his security, dealing some damage. I guess it doesn't work that way. Uh, so, that was a oopsies. We'll at least go blitz, right? Yeah, that will de-digivolve me, but that kind of just doesn't matter. And then I could Gallant Crimson Mode. Oh, it does? That's kind of neat. I didn't know that. Yeah, that's fine. He could de digivolve me. What does he have in here? He just has the Lucimon as of right now. So what does he put in? Sleep mode? Sleep mode's kind of bad. Like, actually, right now, sleep mode's not very good. Uh, so, delete... Okay, so I basically, this doesn't do anything. So, do I just set up another... Because he'll play out the Digimon. So, I'm just trying to, like, figure out my plays. If I play a Tamer or not. I think I have to play a Tamer and then Blitz gain one memory back. Just so I could try to set up a Gallantmon, because I need to, like, push.
So he probably wants to put uh, Beelzemon in so he could pull it out with seven. He seems like a competent player, or they seem like a competent player, so I think that's what they're going to end up doing. So maybe I was just literally better off just... Yeah. Uh, gain a memory. And then one of Digimon's deleted. Yeah, so this was this was just all kinds of bad. Because now he de-digivolves and then I overflow. Yeah, because this is basically my win con. So, how many names does he have? So, one, two, three, four, five. About to get six and seven. Lusimon, Cherubi, X Anibody. I guess that's a card. I don't know if that card belongs in Demon Lords, but I guess that's a card. Cause let's see. They still can play a Demon Lord. Levia X. Does it have an on play? No, it's just all turns. Are they out of like good Demon Lords or something? Oh, they only have like five cards left in deck. Yeah, so for one, to just to try to choke me. And then put that in the security. Digivolve. Oh, you could recover. have it it's not here chat oh wow it's not there so do i swing with it i know this is gonna die this could potentially die Because I need to mill him one more card. Like, that's the big thing, is I need to literally mill him one card. Um... So he's got 28. I can make him have 29. So there's no way this is going to trigger... So, when this Digimon would leave the battle by returning one Lusimon. So, he gets to play another Demon Lord. Yeah, I can't believe I didn't have it in trash to be able to win the game. Otherwise, I'd, I'd win right now. That sucks. So I guess I can see what this leads to. Oh, that puts it to the bottom of the deck.
So how many cards does he have? One, two, three, four, five, six. And I can't out this, which is unfortunate. Maybe I could? Um... That doesn't do anything. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to, like, hard play this. Of course, now I find it. The card that would've made me win the game. Oh, and this didn't trigger? Why didn't this trigger? By placing one tamer and... Oh, because I didn't have the cards in my trash, right? I was missing... No, I had everything. I don't know why it didn't trigger them. Like, I knew I could potentially attack with this Gallatmon had I digivolved into it. <sighs> By placing this Tamer, one Gilmon, Gromon from your trash, you could play one Gallatmon. Yeah, because the idea was I played it so that way I could just. Whatever. That's fine. Yeah, because now I just Digivolve here, mill his last card, and then he loses the game. So, now I could just try to Unga Bunga here. Um, yeah. Like, I just I just pass turn, and then um, I win the game. Cool. So, Gallimon can at least kind of defeat Demon Lords. It's a bit of a struggle, but it's possible. Oh my god. Gallantmon, you are way too difficult. Like, you have some good stuff going on. And then you just, at other times, are just awful. Because I'm running four of that guy. Oh, did you already split? Oh, stupid slave. You did. Two sleeves are already splitting. That's terrible. Three damage sleeves already. This is taking too long. There we go. Uh, I have a searcher, and I think this is okay. I got a teamer, I got a searcher, I got a raising, and I got an evo. So, I could keep this. It's not bad. I've had better. Blue. Oh, all right. So no matter what, the deck is going to be good. Because blue is very strong. Oh. 
Well, he gets two targets, so that's already kind of low-key insane. Ice Ball goes away, but that doesn't matter. So, Gilmon in the raising. Uh, I think I just set up Memory Tamer just to try to choke. Like, to be honest. So, I should have Digivolved here, because that way I could have raised this out and killed this for free. So, I totally was tunnel visioned. But he's most likely going to swing with it, because there's no reason not to. Like, it's just free damage. Because the deck doesn't care about its rookies at all. Yeah. So, I knew that was going to happen, so I guess this was technically the correct play. And then play their mem setter, and now we're in a mem setter game. Uh, I'll end the breeding so I can do some digging. Take you. Actually, we'll do it that way. And then I either set up another Takuya or a Memory Boost. I don't know which one's better. The Blitz is already really good, but I think I just need to dig for pieces. So these are all pretty bad choices. Uh, I think based on what I have, just taking the Growlmon's probably the best thing I got. I mean, it digs through my deck, so that way I have a higher chance of hitting what I need. So that's this is fine. I don't need the Blitz right away anyway. I could have evoed, so that way this doesn't have jamming. But if it hits like a tamer or something, I'm I'm pretty fine. And I have lots of ways to just be able to delete it for free, so it's not like that matters much anyway either. Because I have this and I have this, so I could use this to grab back the war growl in my trash, and then war growl can play out Gilmon. So, they're going to be making an ancient play here. That bounces my Digimon. Bounces a security. Yeah, so literally, like, I don't think this deck can even remotely compete with what Ancient's putting out. Because he's basically just going to start ancienting me every turn, and I'm already at two security. So, next turn, he's going to ideally ancient me again. And then, uh, yeah, because jamming. So now he's going to try to, yeah, he found another Ancient, of course. So he's going to Ancient me again. And then I'm at one security. And then he just gets to play Tamer out for free. Yeah, so he's going to add the Digivolver, which means I have to delete this Digimon. So I'm going to raise out... Uh, yeah, I I have to delete the Digimon. Ooh, Gallantmon, that's okay. So, gain the memory. Digivolve for three. Mill us both. Uh, ooh, both of these are pretty okay, like, picks. Uh, but I think I'm gonna have to do from hand. So that way I could play out you. And then this can dig me. I'll take Gallant. And then I could end the turn by setting up a Tamer as well. Or I could Digivolve into Gallant. So 
So I'm gonna have to attack here. Sukoman. That's fine. So I think. How does Ancient read? Is it the smallest thing? Lowest level. Yeah. So let's just go ahead and set up the Blitz to Kuya. Because this is basically going to be gone. And I need to start setting up some of my tamers. And the reason why I played the Gilmon is to search and have this not get bounced. I mean, he could just easily attack into it, so I'm still kind of, like, screwed. But that's if he's got full combo. Which, he could. He might not, but he could. So I know he at least has an Ancient in his hand. I know he has the... Um, mono blue warper, which requires another Digimon. So maybe they don't have the other parts that they need in order to, like, Wombo. Oh no, they do. Because now they just Digivolve. Digi. Oh, well, they're going to have to pass turn. Offense. That's okay. So my last card in security is basically gone. And I have to try to deal a lot of damage. Oh, they're just crossing. And then they're going to cross with the Kendo on field. Oh no, they have one. Yeah, that's fine. So now I just have to figure out a way to pump as much damage out as possible. So I'm going to have to... Did you evolve you? You're going to have to be raid gallant so I could raid into you. And then I'm going to have to set up a blocker. memory draw a card it's not exactly what I want oh I probably shouldn't have done this one I should have uh, done the other one so that way I could digivolve into this and have a blocker for when I raid into here yeah so that was a misplay um Because I'm going to probably have to use this now. Or uh, by placing this Tamer in one Galmon, Galmon, from your trash to the bottom, I can Digivolve. So do I have the cards in trash? Oh, I have Black Growlmon, not just Growlmon. So, that extra kind of sucks. Yeah, so then I misplayed. Uh, draw one. Raid. Yeah, so now he gets to add back a hybrid, set up a tamer, and... Oh, I should have just digivolved. I'm stupid. I just played this match so poorly. Uh, because that is... I at least have a Growlmon. 
So I could still, like, warp. So I could still play a Gilmon. And then I could set up a blocker. Even though I'm probably just going to get Ancient again. Oh, that's playing. Um. So. That'll Digivolve me, but that'll also Memory Choke me. That's end of turn. Let's just be on the safe side. So now he can't attack me, ideally. So this kind of buys me one extra turn. I mean, if he's got full combo, he's got full combo. But uh, I think they took the... Oh, no, they did take the um, the other one. Okay, do they have it, is the question. I mean, I still am probably going to be losing anyway. Because if he just goes full combo, swings, like if he swings, Evo, Evo, bounce, I'm dead. Because my protection won't be good because uh, it'll be on the memory will be on my side. Well, you have zero or less memory. So if he literally just like swings Evos Evos. Oh, okay. So he's just waiting. So I just have to put him at one. So this is on attack, right? So, I basically just have to put him at one memory. Oh, he might have Hammer Spark. <laughs> he might have the one of Hammer Spark. Because otherwise, I just do this now. So my big question is, how do I win? So again, still missing a normal Digimon. So 
Deleting this wouldn't matter. So I could Evo for two. Yeah, I, I needed to keep it alive. So I think I just swing. Uh, no. Cool. Uh, and now I just set up this. Put him to one and hope he doesn't have anything to gain memory. So, if he's got the hammer spark, he's got the hammer spark. Otherwise, there's no way I could play around it. So, let's see if they got it. That's all I can do. Uh, the other option was I could have... Um, I might have sh probably sh just was better off just part playing another Gilmon. So that way I could try to dig for the ace. That was the other option. Because I have the normal one. I just don't have the ace. But this basically means I win on the spot if he's unable to get rid of this. And deal with my board. So this is kind of just like, a, I guess it was a safety card, but I honestly probably sh was just better off digging for the ace. But he would be able to potentially out... No, he wouldn't. Because the ancient would only be able to out this. So yeah, I was... Playing this Takato was kind of dumb. I definitely was better off just digging for the ace. Way better off digging for the ace. And I didn't want to do the extra security damage because I didn't actually have a way to close out the game. And if I hit a memory setting tamer, then I was pretty much screwed. So there was very good reason for me to just not even have attacked with this. But it, like, no risk, no reward, right? Yeah, so now he's just going to ancient and then I win the game. So he crosses, bounces my rookie... And then I win the game. And there's the ace. Okay. So, uh, let's just, for formality's sake, did you evolve down here? Did you evolve into here? And then I just swing for lethal. Yeah, sure. You could play your tamer and get a Digimon out. Uh, I still swing, trash the top of your security, and then win the game. Yeah. Oh, two really rough matchups where Gallantmon actually is doing well. Uh, for me being a really bad Gallantmon player. I'm shocked. Uh, it's possible. If I, like, memory boost hit a level 4, I think I'm okay. So, I'll be risky and I'll keep. Okay, this is, uh, Dextor Goromon. Ooh, Ukumon. That's annoying. I don't actually have a punish. I might. Might now. I like all of them. <laughs> I like all of these. But... I already have a Gallant. I already have... God, I think I do just take grade. It's like the best one I can take here. That's unfortunate. No, I actually... And then I have to dig for a level 4? Well, found the level 4. 
So he gets to do all of his super shenanigans, which is not great. Now he gets to try to dig. Didn't find the tamer, but he already might have one in hand. Otherwise, there's no real reason to move out. <coughs> well, I mean, there is, just for Uku Trigger. Because he could always reset another Lugamon. Yeah, but he had it. I was like, there's no way he doesn't. And then he just resets another. Like, this Ukomon is still kind of just dumb. Yeah, and then that forces my Digimon to attack. And then he could choke me at one. So, he probably keeps the blocker in. Yeah, because this now will just make him Digivolve for free. Oh, uh. Oh, he just re mind links. He just does it to, to gain a free memory. I forgot because purple is stupid. Uh. Alliance and collision? Yeah, and then he just digivolves for free. Yeah, no piercing, but it doesn't matter if he's already winning the game. Yeah, so he gets my... I get my... He gets his one check, which is whatever. He didn't have to alliance there, to be honest. He could have just done everything anyway, and then just used alliance here for 15k two checks. So maybe that was a misplay on their part, but they did everything else, like, perfectly fine to be able to just, you know, get up into a free level 5. Or, not really free level 5. A free level 6, I'll say. Passing on four. And he's obviously going to be splitting this out. So I think I have to move out. And then I have to use this. Uh, I could grab the level 5, but I think I grabbed the level 3. And then, which one do I go into? So, I could delete this. Possibly delete Ukomon. With a when digi so i'm going to pay three so i'm gonna to go to one and then i actually don't have the so i think i do have to like gallantmon here just to try to wipe his field because there is the argument for uh this Uh, from trash. Play out the Takato for the Blitz. Then when Digivolving, I could delete his Digimon and then attack into this. So, how little memory do I need to give him? So, I think maybe I just do this. No. No. I think I do play um, this Gallant. It's a little bit more expensive, though. Because both of them on Digivolve will kill this, and then I'm swinging into this for big numbers. So maybe I do just play this Gallant for the safety of it. Oh, no, I was supposed to play the other one.
That's fine. I drew the, the ace. So I'm, for the most part, okay. Yeah, so memory efficiency, I should have done this gallant mon. So that was my bad. Does he have another AG? Yeah, so now he just forces my Digimon to attack, though. Which is not good for me. He had another AG. Why didn't he trigger just to gain an extra memory? Unless he just drew it off of the Digivolve. And then he gets to Digivolve. Yeah, he gets to Digivolve out of the trash. Yeah, so I definitely... And then he's going to split the AG out, gain the memory, maintain zero. He can't collision because my Digimon's suspended, which is what I wanted. But he could, like, swing Alliance. So he could throw an AG underneath, swing Alliance. Oh, that's definitely not good. Yeah, so that's extra not good. So, like... What am I honestly supposed to do? Like, as Gallantmon, like, what am I honestly supposed to do in this position? Like, there's realistically almost nothing that I can do. I can't play a body because he's going to collision and kill it. Like, I could Digi for two here just to Digivolve. He has memory setter. I would have rather had that. Uh, I have a level 5 already. I have a level 3 already. So I think I do just take Gallant Monax. So that's literally the only thing I can do. And he's he could probably just break all my security now. Because all he has to do is like hard drop a level 3. And then double alliance break all my security and then oh well he, he's i guess he's like one damage off but he gets to kill my takato so that's not good because i needed the blitz i mean i could always replay the takato with the war growl so it's not like it's that big of a deal that he killed my tamer it just sucks because i would have rather had the tamer Analog is pretty annoying here. Does he have another Dex? He does. Prevent that deletion. Yeah, I honestly don't think there's anything I can do in this matchup. I'll play it out just because. Uh, but, like, because my deck is deletion-based... 
and I don't have a way to interact with the trash, I kind of just lose. Uh, so I got the Tamer back anyway. And then he swings Alliance, two more checks. Breaks all my security. Takato. So this is basically like my Hell Mary play. And unfortunately, because I deleted Digimon, uh, I he's going to unsuspend anyway. Oh, he just wins. Cool. Yeah. Like, my biggest problem with Gallantmon is just how inefficient the deck is everywhere. Like, it's got good cards, it's got good combos, but, like, where red is in the meta is just not good. Like, the deck has borderline zero ability to handle anything that's actually thrown at it. So, this is a classic Fenrir deck. But, again, like, it, it just OTKs, and if I don't have Crimson Blaze and Security, I auto-lose the game. I mean... At least I have the ability to try to play around, um, god. I just cannot find a rookie to save my life. Alright, we're not dealing with that. I was better off keeping the other hand. Like, this hand, like, seems like it's keepable. It's, I don't think it is. They're going first, so I at least have a potential of a card draw, but I think I just have to mulligan this. And it just got significantly worse. Cool. So if I don't draw a rookie, I'm going to be in pretty bad shape. Red hybrids. Red hybrids is uh, generally a pretty tough matchup. So I guess let's see the response. Do they have raid? If they have raid, I kind of just lose on the spot. If they don't have raid, then we're kind of in business because I could then start to evolve. No, okay. Okay, so we have a shot. Let's just go from hand to set up the tamer. As much as I want to develop uh, something else, I, I think I just need the tamer developed. So hitting one ancient's already pretty okay. Oh, never mind. They just grab it back and kill my Digimon anyway. Cool. And then that costs them two. Unless they're going to play another Takuya, just because they might not have all the pieces. They could grab an Aguni. So obviously they're going to grab the Ancient. I just don't know if they could play the Ancient. And of course the Ancient's in DP threat. Well, actually it might not be. No, it, it's, it just dodges it because it's during your turn. For the DP boosts. So that sucks. Yeah like my protections. Aren't good enough. My damage isn't good enough. The fact that I'm a stack deck. Means if I don't find any pieces. I die. Oh interesting. 
I guess they're just playing kind of suboptimally. Okay. Um. Sure, I'll just move out. Uh, do I grab the ace? I think I grab a Gilmon, to be honest. I don't think I need the ace. The aces in these matchups aren't very good. Uh, because now I just digivolve into this Gallantmon. Delete his Digimon. I mean, he's going to gain a lot of memory anyway, so whatever. Oh, no! Crimson Blaze, that kind of sucked. I kind of needed that Digimon. Oh, I mean, I I just want, I would have preferred to have it. So now he grabs back his Digimon. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Yeah, so now it's 14k. Which is able to kill my Digimon. Pop. I will take my Gallant Mom, thank you. Honestly, I should have took the level 4, but I'm going to be just building and raising anyway, and then I can just hard drop this. These choices just kind of suck. I mean, at least this is memory efficient. And then next turn, I could possibly like Crimson to try to out his Digimon. How many hybrids does he have? One, two, three, okay. So, is he going to try to go full combo again? That's probably what he wants, actually. Because then he gets to grab back a level 4 to be able to do whatever he needs. So, that's honestly, like, probably the best for him. And now that he knows that two aces are in the trash, there's, like, no real reason why he is going to be suspecting anything spooky. So he's actually in a really strong spot. Because he could digivolve into a level 4 for free here, gain 2 memory, uh, and then digivolve into a level 4 here. Or just figure out a way to just make another ancient and just kill my Digimon anyway. Oh, okay. no, he's just gonna... Yeah, so he's gonna level 4 here and then blitz. Does he have enough? 1, 2, 3, 4. He's missing 1. So he does not have enough to use Takuya. Because Takuya, it needs to be specific hybrid. Yeah. So he's one off for Takuya. So I'm safe from Blitz, because otherwise I could have just easily lost here. Well, actually, he still can. 
So he could Digivolve here for zero because of Boko, swing, gain two memory, have his Digimon die, and then that puts him at the five for Takuya to be able to swing again. I don't know if that's exactly great. I mean, it's not like I'm in a winning position at all, so it's not like anything he does actually matters. Yeah, he does have the raid. Does he have full combo? He's raiding into my Digimon? Why? He has to have full combo, but then the raid kind of just fizzles because my Digimon will die and then he just doesn't get the attack. Yeah, like, I, I honestly don't know what the heck that was. I mean, sure, it killed my Digimon. That was annoying, not gonna lie. Do I just crimson here? Like, what could he have in his hand? Oh, he still has a warp to Kuya. So, I'm going to be hard playing this to end my turn. So, I don't think I... I think I do just take the two checks. So now I can set this up. Take a Gilmon. Yeah. And then what is the worst? So I can either hard play a Gilmon or hard play a Takato here. Those are my two options. Honestly, I think I hard play Gilmon just to try to search. Maybe be able to keep a body around. I wish, like, this deck kind of needs the ability to, like, Digivolve, like, easily into this Crimson mode. So, like, if he honestly just doesn't out my board right this very second, he kind of just loses. Because I have the Crimson mode in hand. And he knows right now I'm actually pushing lethal because this will do two checks and then this is game. So he has to do something this turn. He does have the Warp Takuya to be able to go into um, the Emperor he grabbed back. So he could, like, Emperor kill my Digimon. Like, kill this Gallantmon. Yeah, so he's probably going to just Emperor again. Maybe. 
No. He grabbed an Aguni. Playing a Mem Setter. And then Warp. So playing the Gilmon actually was a good thing because now I get to maintain, uh, like, turn, so to speak. Or, like, I get to keep a... Well, he could just pop this and attack into this if it's the Blitz one. I don't remember which one he was actually playing. His build's kind of weird. Like, he's running a whole bunch of, like, really random and unconventional stuff. Like, he's trying to play both builds together, but in not the correct way. So what do you do? I mean, you got enough, obviously. Yeah, just take stuff with inheritables. Oh, it is Blitz. Okay, so he could attack over this, or he could attack in security. Okay. Uh, did you fall here? Ooh, that's really good. The memory and this one are both really good. So I need to out his Digimon, and then I'm basically golden. Because he just gets to play Tamer from his hand. Yeah, I have to grab back this one. Uh, we'll just did you evolve into this one? That maintains turn. So he's gonna go to three anyway, so I could set up another tamer. So I'll probably set up this Takato. So ideally, this will make it relatively difficult. Well, I mean, if he has enough level 4s in hand, he kind of just wins the game off of just level 4 spam. Because he Digivolves here for 2, attacks, gains 2 memory. Digivolves here for 2, attacks, gain 2 memory. Digivolve here, game. But it doesn't seem like he has it. He might. Let's see if he actually has it. Because he's probably just trying to think, like, how do I win in this position? So the reason why I set up this Takato over the other one is so at least I have the accessibility to potentially warp. Um, and uh, that way I could raise out and have an extra memory to play around with. So, like, there, there was multiple reasons why. Okay, so he does that. Oh, it's not at the 10k mark. So he doesn't gain the two memory. Now he does, but now he can't win. 
So what? Does he swing over my... Does he Evo again and try to swing over my Digimon? He can't. So now he's just desperately drawing. So he has to attack. Gain two memory. Yeah, so he'll gain the two memory. He could Digivolve here. And then he needs to have another hybrid here. So, he needs to have two more level 4 hybrids out of a hand of six cards. And we've already seen one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, we've already seen seven. So, the chances of him having those last uh, level fives is actually pretty low. Because we've seen 7 out of the usual 12, so there's 5 left in the deck. Yeah. So, now he's just going to kill my Digimon. Um... So I could swing, draw a card. Oh, I don't have another one. I goofed. I shouldn't have taken Crimson. Well, I'm taking Crimson just for the potential defensive plays. Yeah. So I can mill us both too. It's not accomplishing anything though. Oh, I wish I had a searcher. Yeah, taking this crimson mode was probably a mistake. Because now I just, like, blocked myself out of plays. I should have took another Gallant one. Okay, that was pretty big. I mean, if he has the level f 6, I can't do anything about it. So, now I'm just in the same position, just worse. So, maybe I should have just aced. I mean, but I guess this goes to show, like, even a bad red hybrid deck is still better than a well-constructed, um, a well-constructed Gallantmon deck. Like, the, the power gap is just that big.
So now if he just has another hybrid, I just lose. Or like Blitz uh, Emperor. I was forced to crimson there. I mean, even if it's not Blitz and it's the other one, yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, Gallant sucks. Just FYI chat. So, as far as Gallant Mon, um, Gallant Mon still just kind of sucks. His new tools aren't good enough to be played, and what is playable just isn't good enough. Uh, the deck still just has lots of issues, whether it's consistency, damage output. So feel free to leave a uh, comment down below on your thoughts about the deck, if I'm overlooking anything or anything you would change to try to improve the deck, especially for where the current meta is. And make sure to like and follow if you enjoyed this type of content, and I will see you in the next video.